Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I keep my hair stretched with a single low bun. And this is for medium hair, uh, medium length to long hair naturals, not for the shorter hair naturals. You guys, if you can't make a bun yet, this is for future reference. So I'm using a moist, some moisturizer, uh, whatever moisturizer you like, a hair tie, some hair pins, um, gel, my favorite coconut oil, uh, and a rat tail comb. I'm going to start with a middle part. You don't have to do this, this is optional. But I like to do this because it helps it look a little bit more neat and put together. You know, even though this is a stretching method for my hair, it's still a style and you want to be able to go out with this. It doesn't have to be straight or perfect. I just make a line and that's it. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my moisturizers, which is Entwine Cream Butter Hydrator. It is a water-based moisturizer that helps penetrate the hair and doesn't need any water to do that. Also, Commit Biologics Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee. Both are really great together. One's a leaving and one's a topical moisturizer. So I rub that through my ends, especially, because I don't want them to shrink up. Then I seal them with my coconut oil. After which I take my hair milk that you see that you saw earlier and saturate my hair with it. Just the water itself will help lay down the hair a lot better and make it as flat as possible because my hair is naturally poofy, kinky, and it doesn't lay flat like a thin haired natural would or somebody with looser texture. So water is a trick for me to get my hair laid down. Water and continuously using my hand to smooth my hair back, training it to go backwards will actually help it to flatten out for the final result, as well as an addition of brushing and gel. I do a lot of brushing people. This is just a shorter version of what I spend the time I spend brushing my hair back into the style I want but it doesn't take long about 15 to 20 minutes to do this style and I'm just putting a lot of gel as much as I can without finishing my gel onto my hair and you can put as much gel as you want and it gel just helps it to flatten out more and more so the more gel you put the better but I don't have much gel left so I am just trying to balance that out Cons pre conserve preserve my gel and at the same time flatten my hair out but this is the first time I'm doing this style since my twist out so it's gonna it's not gonna be as flat as it could be but if I want it to be flatter I just have to do it the next day and the next day and the next day and it will just get flatter and flatter especially if I continuously add water for that combination and continuously brush. So I'm brushing in the gel now and I'm going to take the hair band and not like I traditionally do it with both hair both sides I'm just going to take one side and wrap it around like a child's bubble would be and this will get you the desired tightness that you want. It gets me it gets it tighter for me than when I originally do my puffs or buns. And it's okay because my hair is pretty thick, so it doesn't really pull at my hair that much. It just gives me muscles. Now I'm putting my scarf on, and this will help flatten out my hair even more. And I'm just putting a part of the scarf on the front so that I can do my bun in the back. Let's take the remaining hairpins that I have to create my bun. This is later. This is about 10 to 15 minutes later, and... My hair is going to be much flatter now since I had the scarf on and 
don't worry about the white parts in my hair that's the gel that's, it hasn't completely dried it will it will disappear once it's completely dried but this is the simple bun that I talked about guys and it's that easy and of course if you keep doing this bun every day after it will get flatter and flatter and you can dress it you can leave it like that or you could dress it up like I am with this nice brown headband and this is how I would go out later in the day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.